be able to watch it as it comes through. All the different holes that you see, like those are the flange cuts right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, inside this box right here is where it puts that, puts that final lip on it. Um, that can be taken off on here um, to make it just straight. It's great like that. And that little box is the final box, and it'll put the swage on it, which I'll, I'll show you yeah, what that is. The bottom. Right. Yeah, you should have Oh, Safety first. You're not looking for you're not looking for gloves off the back. I tried to cut my finger tip. It's your glove? <laughs> yeah, I tried to cut the finger tip out. I got it for you. Never seen a framer that didn't have their pointer and their thumbs cut out. Right. You can't feel the screw, you're not framing it. <laughs> That's right. Alright, so this is our house that we're gonna or the wall section that we're gonna build. Um, I see, I've, I've got everything all prepped and everything, so it's immediately going to spit out a piece. We didn't even see it happen. It just happened. <laughs> Was it already self-fed? Wow. I had already prepped the machine. Got it. it. And how much was that prep time? Like nothing. Not even. It spits out these two pieces while it while it punches all your holes. Fuck. Yep. That's incredible. So, so basically, what you, I mean, you got your dimples, you got your flame cuts. It's all laid out for you. You don't have to lay yeah, it out. Yeah. That's where a piece. That's where a piece will go in. It's, yep. And if it's not right, call the office and yell at the designer. Yeah. How many times do you run into problems during production? Not very often. You really, you really don't. Sweet. Swap the poles and the poles run out. Just right. Stop it, put it in, and it knows um, where you stop and just picks it right back up where you started. When you, when you get that coil, it's got the weight on there. You can go in here to, uh, you go in here to machine settings, uh -huh. and you can put in your measured weight and calculate the length, and then it'll give you an alert that there's five meters left on that roll. And it already knows and, with the science. So right. there's sensors and something back there. Correct. Perfect. Yes, right Fuck. Is it that right gate? Right there is that counter. Yes. Yeah, I saw that earlier. And so when the metal gets out past that, then... Sweet. And initially, how... It's already self-fed. How... When does it start dimpling and riveting and punching? Okay, so because I see the feed there. It starts punching right here. And I see where it starts to you bend and the, the channel starts to form. That's the service hole right there. You see the hole in the I middle? see that service hole. And that gets punched in right here. Got it. Uh, there's your uh, lip cuts. That's lip cuts happen right, right when you go to the yeah. third roller. Okay. Yeah. Um, web holes. Flange holes. Flange holes. Uh, yes, and that's just, that's just bending and forming. Uh -huh. And then there's your dimples right there. And then your shears are happening right here. The swage, the little cramp at the bottom. Excuse me. There's no swage on this one, now, but when one comes out. There will be. Every other piece will have it. Anywhere there's a dimple will have a swage. So now I'll shoot it from this angle. And it lights up and tells you what, what part is coming. What section you're on next. Yep, that's the... Uh, I'm just no, hit the no play button.
Where do you get your convention for labeling? There's this place right there. Got it. But your labeling convention, where did you find that? Or how did... Ah, got it. S1, N1. Right. Got it. You can, you can reorder the job files in the monitor, but it's set up in detail on the computer. Correct. The designer can set it. Or like, he can run different panels in different orders. You see, there'll be like a job, uh -huh. then a wall. These are all your punches for the sewing. Like that was a service hole. That was a service hole. 